Hey, Psych2Goers. Before we begin, once again, we'd like to give you a huge thanks for all of the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Are you weighed down by worry, uncertainty, and distress over all the ways your relationship could potentially go wrong? Are you struck with thoughts like, will this last or is this even real? This irrational and persistent fear is known as relationship anxiety. And it's something a lot of people struggle with. Even if things are going great in your relationship, you're still constantly worried that the relationship won't last. Does this sound familiar to you? Do you think you might have relationship anxiety? Here are eight telltale signs of relationship anxiety that can help you figure it out. One, you're insecure about your relationship. The most common manifestation of relationship anxiety is insecurity. Do you often struggle with feeling like you don't belong or like you have no place in their lives? You find yourself constantly wondering if you matter to the people you love and how important you are to them. You ask yourself things like, will they miss me when I'm gone or will they be there for me when I need them? You question if the connection you feel with them is real. Two, you doubt your partner's feelings for you. Do you routinely doubt that your partner's feelings for you are real? No matter how many times they tell you they love you, can you not help but wonder if they really mean it? Even when they step out and make grand romantic gestures, you still want more reassurance to quiet all the nagging, lingering doubt in your mind. You always need them to prove to you that you're the only one for them and that they'll never leave you because of this deep seated fear of abandonment fueling your relationship anxiety. Number three, you're overly dependent on your partner. Do you find yourself staring at the phone all the time, waiting for your partner to text you back? Do you feel worried whenever you don't see them and fear that they might forget about you? Do you get upset when they spend time with anyone other than you? While it's natural to feel attached to your partner and want to spend a significant amount of time with them, when you have relationship anxiety, it can make you needy, paranoid, and overly dependent on your partner. Four, you want to please your partner too much. You choose to keep quiet about things that bother you. You're afraid to start any conflicts or disagreements and go along with whatever your partner wants. Sound familiar? When relationship anxiety comes into play, it'll wrongly convince you that if you don't do everything you can to please your partner, they'll leave you. A desire for people-pleasing usually stems from unresolved abandonment issues or an unsatisfied need for love. You frequently put their needs ahead of your own and you always go above and beyond just to try to make them happy. Number five, you overanalyze your relationship. Do you play back past conversations in your head and beat yourself up over what you think you should have said instead? You get hung up on every little disagreement you have and worry it'll somehow make them leave you. If you have a tendency to overthink your partner's words and actions down to the tone of their voice and the look on their face, then that is a telltale marker of relationship anxiety. Six, you beat yourself up over everything. Whether it's simply forgetting to greet your significant other good morning, missing their calls or not being able to make it on a date, you always beat yourself up over all the ways you think you failed them as a partner. You get mad at yourself for every little mistake you make and worry that it might mean the end of your relationship. And no matter how much your partner reassures you that it's fine or that you didn't do anything wrong, you can't help but be racked with guilt and worry. Number seven, you're afraid that things will get too serious. Do you love your partner? can't commit to them because you're secretly afraid of your relationship becoming more serious. Having relationship anxiety can make you hesitant to get too close to anyone and struggle to be vulnerable with them. In the back of your mind, you think that it could never last. You're afraid of ending up alone and heartbroken, so you keep your partner at an emotional distance. The moment they mention something like meeting their parents, going on a trip together, or moving in with them, you want to run far, far, far away because you think it's only a matter of time before the relationship falls apart and you get hurt. And number eight, you're waiting for something to go wrong. Are you constantly sitting at the edge of your seat, 
waiting for something to go wrong. The relationship anxiety has convinced you that you're setting yourself up for a hurt and disappointment. You have a hard time forgiving your partner for their mistakes and letting things go because you're always looking for reasons to leave. You make a big deal out of things and scare off easily. Although you might think that you're protecting yourself, the truth is the anxiety is holding you back from being happy, enjoying the moment, and giving your relationship with this person a fighting chance. Do you relate to any of these signs? Or does this video describe someone you know? If you resonate with this video, what do you plan to do next? Let us know in the comments below. If this video helped you, be sure to share it with someone who might find it helpful too. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go content. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.